There are so many variations in treating acute ST segment elevation myocardial infarction that it is sometimes even hard to keep track. Treatment with a 2B3A inhibitor is one issue. It improves coronary microcirculation and reduces major cardiac events, particularly in high-risk patients. Also, intracoronary administration seems to reduce infarct size. However, the safety and efficacy of intravenous versus the intracoronary route has not been reported, but now in Lancet, that question seems to be answered in a randomized trial, at least for abseximab. The trial, called aida STEMI, simply randomized patients to either intravenous or intracoronary abseximab followed by a 12-hour intravenous infusion. The primary endpoint was a composite of all-cause mortality, recurrent MI, or new congestive heart failure within 90 days. The good news is that there was no difference in mortality or recurrent infarction in the two groups, but interestingly, new onset heart failure was about twice as likely to happen in patients who had intravenous abseximab at 4.1%, versus intracoronary at 2.4%. Now the p-value for that difference is only 0.04, but since intracoronary abseximab is safe and seems to be related to less chance of heart failure, why not choose the intracoronary route if abseximab is indicated? I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardioSource Heart Minute.